No background. Okay, so today this is going to be sort of a vlog review, as the people want to call it. It's talking about, okay, now you know me, I really, really, really don't like MLP, as the kids are calling it. And I never did. And I don't like the fan base, I did a rant on that, I had a debate with that media whiz person. Uh, all around just terrible show, I don't like it, but someone pointed me in the direction of an episode from, I think it was around the show's season one, and they wanted me to talk about it. So the episode in question is, what was the title of it? Ariel, help me out here. Alright, okay. That's the title. So that episode, it involves uh, Twilight, who is a, who's the skeptical magic one, obviously, satanic imagery there. I don't care what you say, Ariel. Uh, uh, coming across Pinkie Pie, who, you know me, worst character, although this was slowly start, starting to change as this episode progressed. Pinkie has this ability where she has a twitch, and apparently this twitch gives her the ability to see what's going to happen in the future, like a door opening or some kind, of, some kind of wacky shenanigan. And a lot of people say that this episode's strong spot is its comedy, which I, I, I maybe giggle-wiggled every now and then. Yes, I said that. I may have giggle wiggled every now and again, but it it wasn't terribly funny. But the thing the thing that brought my my thoughts on this episode up, it's around I think like around ten minute mark probably in the episode, which is like I don't know, like maybe even earlier than that. You don't believe this. You don't believe because you don't understand. So that happens, and a lot of people say they don't like this episode because it brings up religious allegory. Which to my response, I say. Well, as much as I hate the show, at least they actually had the decency to bring up uh, such a, 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 quote, taboo subject of the, the culture that we live in today. So, after that point, it basically, everyone's pretty much said it. It's, it's Christianity versus atheism with ponies. And now, when I first, I, I was getting a little, I was a little nervous because I, kn I thought I knew what they were going to do, but surprisingly, they actually pulled a fast one and they actually did something that I wasn't expecting, that being... They make the Christians look right and the atheists look wrong. What's wrong with God's not dead? Listen to this. You see this? So after that point, there's lots of shenanigans of Twilight following Pinky around, trying to study anything, and of course she gets, you know, cartoonishly smacked around. Twitchy tail. Twitchy tail? <gasps> Twitchy tail! Hey, hush, Spike. We can't let Pinky know we're here, remember? Something's gonna fall! Honestly, you're overreacting. Which again, people say that's funny, but I, I, I may have chuckled every now and again, but I, I didn't really think it was funny, per se. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, at the very beginning of the episode, they set up that Fluttershy, best character, going down to, uh, what was it? Over the foggy bottom fog. But then Pinky gets the doozy, as it's called. They have to go down to Froggy Bottom Bog, and they, yeah, at first you think that Fluttershy's gonna get hurt. And here's how they, here's, I like this, here's how they portray the atheist character who's Twilight in this episode. Here's how they portray it. Hey, I thought you didn't believe in this stuff. I don't. I just want to be there to see the look on Pinky's face when we find out nothing's wrong. Okey-dokey. You see that? The Christian character was keeping their head strong, and the atheist was trying to be judgmental. Exactly. That is truth. Everyone knows that there's not a single atheist person who cares about other people. But they get down there, she's perfectly fine, but then a Hydra comes out, and a lot of people say that that was one of the better parts of the episode. People were like, oh, something actually happened that was cool and exciting, but I don't know. Like, I, I was fascinated more by the, the Christian versus atheism allegory, if you ask me. But then Twilight has to make what they call a leap of faith. At... Who...
Teleport, Mario! But she makes it across, and it turns out that the Hydra actually wasn't the doozy, but the doozy was rather this. I was surprised when I first saw that too, and I'd be danged. They actually, they actually said that the Christians were right, and the atheist was proven wrong, and the message of the episode is this. I realize there are wonderful things in this world you just can't explain, but that doesn't necessarily make them any less true. So basically they're saying that atheists can't disprove God, so therefore they're wrong. I approve this episode. This is, okay, I don't like MLP at all, but this is the one episode I like because they actually, they finally said something that I completely agree with. Uh, Ariel, stop, get, get out of here, Ariel. You're, you're not entity to me today. Whatever. But yeah, this episode was good. People, the comedy, I didn't really care about. The ending, didn't really care about with the Hydra. You know, that was just sort of, you know, for the fans, I guess. I don't, who cares? But the thing that I liked about this episode was... The fact they actually had the Christian versus atheism allegory, and they actually did it right. They actually had the Christian be right, and the atheist be wrong, and the lesson I completely agree with 100%. Get out of here. Okay, whatever. So, like I said, don't like the show. This episode is the one exception, probably. There's probably other episodes out there like this of the show. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to check it out unless people actually want to, but whatever. So, good episode. I approved this one, this episode I actually really enjoyed, so yeah, Philly Picky Keen is the one episode out of MLP that I'll, that I'll actually say I openly like. Other than that, I don't like most of the episodes, but I will try to, if, if there are any, if people can tell me if there's other episodes out there that, that are like this that have religious allegories, I'll check them out. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, I'm Chris, uh, this episode was good, uh, oh and before you ask, yes. Since Pinkie Pie was the Christian character, I th I'm thinking, as much as I don't like her, I think she might actually be the next best pony. But we'll see. I, I don't know. I I'm not sure. I'm still having my uh, my doubts. Yeah, so Bill and Pinkie Keen is good, and uh, may Jesus be with you. Christians really miss Jesus. They blame the Jews for killing him. I choose to blame the Jews as well. More for industrial things. Psych just plain don't get all mad. Don't go call Gloria all red. I got no good goddamn money. Go sue someone that's good for it. So the episode in question is. Of course. One of the episodes that I genuinely dislike. And he actually likes it. Oh, yeah, okay. Asshole.